broadcaster Penny Lebiane knows how to bring a glow to the day of listeners across the country. She's used her multicultural roots and multilingual upbringing to entertain radio's biggest commercial audiences, while highlighting community issues and making friends of every kind along the way. So I used to listen to radio uh, when I grew up in Bushburg Ridge, Radio Liboa, which is currently Tobela FM. That was my first love as a medium. And as a professional, I got into radio. Firstly, um, as we were preparing for the elections in 1994, the IBA, um, you know, that's ICASA, issued uh, licenses for community radio station and they had a training opportunity for young people. And then I was one of those young people who volunteered for Soweto Community Radio. I never worked for that station, but I got trained there. The first radio station I worked for was Voice of Soweto which was based in Fox Street in the heart of Johannesburg. I was 18 turning 19 and then I only joined Metro FM uh, when I was 20, 21 here at the SABC. So that's how I got into radio. Submitted a demo tape actually. I love the immediacy of radio. I love the instant connection with the listener but i also love what it does to you as the practitioner within the medium it forces you to think on your feet i just love the power that it, it enables me to have the influence and the impact that i have but i also just get excited when i'm in here i feel so in control so in charge like my mind my fingers my body and the flow of music and the conversations uh, that i get into it the connectivity of radio is what i love about it See, I'm a girl from like Mpumalanga. I have, uh, you know, heritage in Limpopo, you know what I mean? And uh, in the Northwest province, and I love KZN, uh, you know, I enjoy Cape Town. So it's about making everyone feel like they belong, especially on a nationwide uh, platform. But what really, really make a great host is making it about the listener. Connecting with your listeners, being interested in people and things, not being one dimensional, I think. When barely out of her teens, Penny understood that she had to be a voice for her generation. Women like PR specialist Nomfundo Mkize and fashion designer Fortunate Causa, who both become besties. So are you ladies ready for the first activity of the day? Oh my goodness, you know we work very hard, right? So we might as well just play hard. Well, you guys, you know, I love my tea. You talk about that tea, since when do you like that tea? I was thinking you were gonna talk about bubbles or something. But let's do tea, baby. How strong is it? <laughs> Very strong. Very green. <laughs> I know you like strong. <laughs> we are a 61 bedroom um, oasis in the middle of Santon. You uh, come through our gates and you don't even realize that you're in the hustle and bustle. You're pretty much in the city, but you don't feel it. So the design of the property is all around an earthy feel. As you walk around, you can see there's a lot of stone, there's a lot of gray. We've got the beautiful gardens with the pond in the middle. Everything's around nature, texture, and it's all about senses. Stirring the Emotions is a collection of sculptures by famed South African artist Anton Smit. So a lot of the uh, artwork fits in with our rustic theme, the colors, the metal, how they put together. So it's um, all very well thought through to get the product that you see. A day at the spa is the exception for Penny. You're more likely to find her on the ground, giving airtime to communities in need. But she was happy to buck the trend for one workday. So, you know, I try to do wellness overall as much as I can. I go for a retreat, I do hikes, but going to like a spa, it's a treat. Maybe every once every quarter I try to do that. Uh, you know, I mean, facials don't count. That's like a regular thing, but like really getting a massage and just lying, uh, getting a scrub. Oh man, I wish I could do it more regular. My session is amazing. Truly enjoyed everything about this. It was it was relaxing, something I needed. Uh, not that I walk a lot or anything like that, but you know, in and out of meetings, always wearing heels, and I truly needed a foot massage. It's absolutely amazing. And while all three friends love cooking for their kids, this was one school night the moms were dining out. 
me and my girls we normally enjoy having oysters, like caviar, we enjoy salmon, and then we pair it up with champagne. So food is our thing, the fine dining life is our stuff. So this just met our standard. Hi ladies, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So for your first course you had a bread platter, which had flavored butters, which was beetroot butter, parsley and garlic butter, and biltong butter. And now I'm serving you salmon with some gratin, with some uh, butternut puree, some smoked cauliflower puree, some lemon and orange jelly, and some veggies. My relationship with food is very good. It's very healthy. I enjoy my food. I prefer food straight from the ground. So I love like your sweet potatoes, a little bit of potatoes, my dumbis, the traditional, you know, the better. Cause it's got a bit of nostalgia for me cause that's what I grew up eating. So I try to incorporate it into my everyday life. I believe in eating for vitality. Uh, and food is medicine uh, to me. My ratings on today's food, definitely a nine out of 10 because I love salmon. It was nicely done. It was nicely presented as well. I think the atmosphere as well just accompanied a nice meal that we've just had. So everything was just lovely. Lovely company, lovely food. How awesome was that? It was beautiful. Stunning. Are you guys ready for the pajama party? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Oh. in a pajama party, right? Hi, John. <laughs> For this star of radio, the real spoiling is being able to support her children, Takunda and Tamuka, making a better world for them to grow up in. I actually want to ask you guys something. Both of you guys are so fortunate to actually have uh, daughters, so I want to find out what are some of the values that you're trying to instill in your daughters? A sense of self and, you know, to love herself enough to know to be able to stand on her own. Doesn't mean that she shouldn't have like relationships and people that she's relying on, but to be able to be her own person, you know, and go out there in the world and face whatever comes her way. So for me, the, here's something very weird. I grew up a very shy girl, right? This is something that I think I wanted to teach not just my daughter, but both my son and my daughter, how to be confident in, my, in themselves, love themselves, um, be able to stand for themselves and uh, be confident, you know, in whatever that they want to try out in life. What do I want to say to the little girl that is watching me just like I watched Felicia Mabuzo Sato? You know, young women like uh, Basatana Mahalimele, aka Basatana Kumalo. Uh, I got inspired by those. So I hope that I've taken the baton from those women and I am an inspiration to you to bring your DNA, to bring your authenticity and your own experience to your story, to tell a South African story and an African story to the rest of the world. Penny Lebiane has used her voice to recast women as figures of substance and power and who don't need permission to have a little fun. <laughs>